Hello Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node sign. This is going to be a twin flame reading for the sign of Taurus. Please keep in mind that this is a general read so it will not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, please make sure to check your other placements. Now let's see what are the energies for Taurus with regards to their twin flame connection. How Taurus is viewing their twin flame and this connection, please. What is in their mind space? Queen of Wands. Four of Wands. Let's get one more card. One more card, please, for Taurus. How Taurus is viewing their twin flame and this connection. Seven of Swords. Right, Taurus, here I can see that you are actually, I think this Queen of Wands is your own energy and you feel quite uh, quite empowered here. Uh, you feel kind of um, feisty. Uh, you know, I'm getting I'm getting an interesting vibe here because um, it looks to me like what is empowering you is leaving something behind, some kind of uh, with the Four of Wands here, it feels to me like you are leaving some kind of um, uh, either connection, some kind of establishment. Uh, this could be related to, uh, basically this could be related to anything. This could be, it feels to me like even some old, <clears throat> old kind of thinking, maybe. And I see with the Seven of Swords, your back turned to it. Uh, I see that also you are not very sure uh, either how to go about it or either if you, if you should leave it. It feels to me like um, with the yes, with the chariot here and four of cups and seven of pentacles here at the bottom of the deck, right? It feels to me like you are moving and you are guided by the universe while doing that. Uh, you are moving into something. Uh, and away from something. Well, I know it sounds strange. Um, I would say that uh, for the most part it feels to me like you're moving away from some kind of old thinking, old patterns of yours, um, something that did not fulfill you before. You still, uh, it seems to me like with the Seven of Swords here, uh, I don't feel, usually this is the card for, you know, a, a thief, somebody who is doing something in secret, but I don't feel it this way. I feel that actually you are not completely sure either if you should really move away from that or how to go about it. Um, how it feels to me that you are in the middle of some kind of shift for yourself. Uh, it feels to me like you are shifting your perspectives, you are becoming more of that Queen of Wands. And the more you move, the more you feel that. The more you feel excited about the new things in front of you, the more you feel confident about your move, right? But still there is some kind of um, uh, discomfort maybe or doubt creeping in a little bit from time to time. And with the Seven of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck, I see that you actually do realize this and you are just waiting for... Um, for the seeds of the new to to grow. You know that you have to move. You know that you have to change your perspective on, on something, on many things. Uh, something of that sort. Now let's see what is in Taurus's twin flame energies, please. How are they viewing this connection? 
And to be honest, whatever I said now about uterus, I do not feel that it's directly related to, uh, to your connection uh, with your twin flame, but in some way it is, because probably it is because of this connection <clears throat> you are guided uh, towards some new state of yourself, I would say. Right? Now let's see how are they viewing this connection. Chariot, just like you have at the bottom of the deck. Eight of Cups. Well, definitely your twin flame is moving too and is guided by the same forces, just like you. Let's get one more card. I often see a lot of similarities, which is not a surprise. It's a twin flame connection, right? In the energies. Let's get one more card. Five of Swords. Yes, <laughs> look at this. And uh, what they have at the bottom of the deck is the Hierophant. I hope you can see the Five of Wands and the King of Wands. So, what I see here is that, uh, to be honest, I see both of you right now being guided by the same force and being moving in the same direction. But, however, I do not see you moving, you know, hand in hand. I see that uh, each one of you at this time uh, has his own process, right? He is working through his own things with the Seven of Swords on your side and Five of Swords on their side. I do see that for both of you, each one of you is uh, facing now some kind of, you know, uh, self restrictions, self-doubt, um, this kind of things. Um, the, but yes, like I said, I see you both moving in the same direction, but uh, each one of you is moving on his own. Like, you know, it, it would be like, it feels to me like you, you go into the same place uh, by the same road, but in different cars. Each one is driving his own car at the moment. I see that this person, your twin flame, is, is leaving also something behind. Uh, more of, um, if you are leaving some kind of structure behind, this person is leaving, feels like more of um, emotional things that does not, uh, that don't serve them anymore. Um, some emotional experiences they are leaving behind, it looks, uh, looks like. And it's not an easy thing to be honest. So yes, I see some kind of, um, I wouldn't say like heavily self-sabotage, but it, it's like, it feels to me like both of you are doing like two steps forward, one step back uh, at this time. But definitely, definitely moving in the same direction. Let's see what Centaurus's heart space. A lot of mirrored energy, just like I expected. King of Pentacles, Five of Swords. Let's get you one more card, Taurus. Seven of Cups. A lot of mirrored energy. They, uh, you also have the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck and also an Emperor and the Queen of uh, Coins and the Four of Coins here. I hope you can see. Just like your person, your twin flame, they have Hierophant on their side too. You could be dealing with another Taurus, Aries maybe, can, Cancer, Cancerian energy is here too. Um, tell you what, Taurus, uh, once again, I see that you, at least you on your, on your side, <clears throat> I see you being more busy with your own progress now. I see you trying to progress to... Uh, to the to this king of uh, uh, coin state where you feel stable, where you feel secured um, in all possible aspects of your life, and with the five of uh, swords here and uh, seven of cups on your side, I see that you you have some kind of confusion as to uh, how to reach this place, how to how to get there. So I wouldn't be surprised that at this time actually. 
for the cross watcher I wouldn't be surprised that Taurus is not paying like a lot of attention to this connection uh, this is because if if this is the case I think for for many of you this is the case if this is the case it's it's because uh, I see Taurus is very busy now trying to it looks to me like even um, rebuild themselves right uh, to build themselves up, to uh, to get in their own power with the um, Hierophant and the, the Emperor at the bottom of the deck, but also with the Queen of Coins at the, at the bottom of the deck. I do see that you, Taurus, you understand that the more you get in your power, the better it is for this connection, the more beneficial it is for this connection. I do see this uh, kind, of, kind of realization on your part. And uh, I see that actually... Uh, like I said, this connection itself is um, is pushing you, whatever is going on there between uh, you two, it will be different for everyone, but I see that this connection itself is pushing you to find this way to empower yourself, right, to to better yourself, to, um, to take more care of yourself, of your environment, um, in many aspects of your life. I see that there is confusion on your side, I see that... Um, both of you actually are getting a lot uh, in, into your mind. I, I think uh, the previous reading, um, there was something like, uh, I, I, I had a, this, this vibe from one of the Taurus readings, that something was shifting, that something was like, like there was a new cycle open. And it's no wonder when this happens, of course, you enter in the new cycle and everything there will be new. You have never experienced this before. So you will have to, you know, grow up to, to, this, uh, to, this, to the energies of the cycle. It's not always very easy. And sometimes, yes, it can, it can, it can put you for some time uh, back in your mind, trying to figure out how to do it. Let's see. Right, a lot of, a lot of mind, mind work here, I see on your Twin Flames part as well. <clears throat> I think at this time both of you are actually kind of... Uh, I see both of you being busy about some material things, finances maybe, which is no wonder with what's going on in the world. Many people now will be anxious about their finances. But let's see. The Hierophant, right. Right, what I see on your, <clears throat> sorry, uh, look at this, with the Ace of Cups and Four of Coins, just like you have at the bottom of your deck, and the um, Magician here, uh, on this person's side, on your Twin Flame side, I see definitely that uh, they are, <clears throat> there, there is something about finances here to us. First of all, I see. I, I feel like it's a lot of a lot of Earth energy. So you could be dealing with uh, uh, another Earth sign, Capricorn or Virgo. I also see that this person at this time is um, they're feeling kind of anxious because uh, maybe for for some of you because of their uh, of the state of their finances and they're related to you. It feels to me like. Whenever they think about their finances, they are trying to uh, they are trying to manifest for themselves some financial stability, and this has everything to do with the feeling that they have for you. For some of you, it will be like uh, maybe it requires some you know extra expenses for you to go see each other or to be together or to move in together it it will be different for everyone but i see that finances are heavily heavily on this person's mind right and uh, it, it makes them quite anxious from time to time that's what i see for sure but i see that uh, whatever they're thinking about is connected directly to you and to to their connection with you Right, so I see you actually both trying to, I, I see you trying to, to reach your, um, your full potential, not only with regards to finances, it feels to me like with regards to many things, to 
to uh, with regards to your emotional state, with regards to your physical state, and all of that. And uh, this twin flame, the, the the twin flame of yours, I see them actually very, very heavily uh, being bothered about the the finances for some reason. Let's see what actions is this person going to take towards Taurus. What actions is this person going to take towards Taurus? Maybe this is why it feels to me like you, that you are both going in the same direction, but in the different cars. Because I see you more working more on yourself, and I see them being actually, at this time, mostly anxious about how things are going with you. You know, how, how life is treating you and oh, all these kind of things. I see them... Mm, I would say that this this person, uh, I would say they worried about you and about this connection. Well, let's get one more card. One more card, please. What actions is this person going to take towards Taurus? Here you are, Taurus. Right. Let's see what's on your side. What actions Taurus is going to take towards this person? Could be dealing with the fixed sign. Another Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, me. Or somebody with heavy placements uh, of that signs in their chart. Let's see what actions Taurus is going to take towards their twin flame. Three of Wands as well. The Hierophant. Taurus is all over the place today. Taurus is on everyone's mind today. Taurus is on their twin flame's mind, on their own mind, and in my cards too. A lot of Taurus. It's not bad. Right. <laughs> oh, come on, Taurus. <clears throat> okay. Look, what I'm seeing here is that oh, you are heavily on your twin flame's mind. In one way or another, they are trying... Um, I see a lot of back and forth within this person. They are trying to, to understand how do they manifest this, uh, this connection happening. With the with the hierophant here, I see them trying to understand how do they manifest the next, uh, let's say the the most logical next step within this connection. How to step it up this connection? I see them. I see travel involved. So for for many of you, this could be a long distance relationship because I see the three of uh, ones on both sides. I also see with the three of ones here a lot of waiting involved. Like they are waiting. On something to happen and you are waiting on something to happen. It looks to me like they are wait but mostly heavily this person is waiting um, to be honest to go see you with the world uh, with the world card here and with the king of pentacles definitely obviously this person is waiting on uh, and also trying to work on that with the eight of coins at the bottom of the deck and the king of swords six of swords Yes, and the strength. Yes, I see that this person is trying. <clears throat> I don't see that they know exactly how to make this happen. They are trying. Dif I, I see them. Feels to me like they are trying different things. Maybe, uh, maybe they are trying to. Um, you know, uh, they are trying law of attraction. They are trying manifestation. They are trying like all sorts of things. Uh, yes, to try and make this happen. Uh, on your part, I see that you are actually keep working on yourself. I see you keep working on yourself with the High Priestess here at the bottom of the deck on your side. Uh, right. Aha, uh -huh, look at this. Very interesting. Very interesting. Look at this combination of cards. The High Priestess, the Two of Wands, the Ace of Wands and the Six of Wands. Right? 
So what I see here, Taurus, I see you working on yourself. You're working on yourself a lot, building yourself up. I also see that at this time you are being guided by, uh, by your angels, by your spirit guides, by your intuition. Your intuition is definitely talking to you. And the thing is that deep inside, you know, you know that this is happening. You know that, yes, you are seeing the results of your work. But on the outside, somehow, I see with the Four of Cups here, I see you not being like very satisfied with those results. It, it makes me feel, Taurus, like you are probably at this time a little bit of perfectionist towards that, a little bit demanding towards yourself, like you are trying to ask of yourself... Um, really a lot it's not like there is something wrong with that but you know with this you see this cup on this card this cup coming up out of nowhere with the with the wonderful gift uh, from the universe and uh, it seems to me like at this time you are uh, more in this um, in the state where you see your own progress but you also think sometimes like Maybe I'm still like not doing it right. Maybe I'm still not good enough. Maybe nothing is happening. Maybe it, maybe it takes too long with the with the three of ones here and the two of ones um, there at the at the bottom of the deck. Uh, so what I would like to tell you, Taurus, that you just have to, you know, you just have to look around a little bit. Uh, you just have to, you know what, you just, I think you just have to believe and to uh, honestly relax a little bit, to, uh, you know, to refocus yourself a little bit, to look around a little bit with the, with the free spirited eyes, and then you will see that this gift is yours, that's what you're looking for, your own, your integrity, your power, it is yours, I see it's here. Very interesting also that through the whole reading I keep seeing both of you working on yourselves in in different kind of manner, right? And interesting that... Um, look at this, I will just show you. Uh, on both sides I see that what you're, looking, uh, what you're working towards as a matter of fact is this... Um, is this kind of coming together with the three of coins on each side. It's this, um, you know, I think that both of you realize in some, in some way that there is a mission for both of you. And to, to have this mission completed, each one has to work on his own things. Right? So, and trust me, you are both moving this, in this direction. Okay, Taurus? So, uh, this is what I have for you. I hope this helped in some way and I hope to see you again. Bye, Taurus.